Ride with Moto Wolf on YouTube. Hey people, welcome back to Moto Wolf YT. How's it going, someone here? So my question for you all is, uh, what's the longest you've left your motorbike before without widening? <laughs> so, as you may know from the amount of videos I do on here, I'm pretty much going mine almost every day. Well, literally enough every day. I was away for a whopping, uh, well, it's been a whopping three whole days since I've ridden on it last. And I, um, I wasn't too sure what to make of that at first because uh, I was thinking, oh no, what's the battery life going to be like? Uh, I've not got one of those uh, charging things that people do when they go away and all those uh, things. Ooh, f I mean, hey, nice guy, thank you. For those who don't know, this is normally where I park up to see my live videos and things like that. Just about here. <laughs> I don't do lives too often, but every now and then, yeah. So I'm at the glorious Asda because I've got a quite important delivery to pick up, McDonald's, and it is important. I know it's junk food, but after my little uh, trip away, sometimes junk food helps a lot, especially when you've not been eaten properly. So I didn't really enjoy a lot of the food in London. Um, I normally don't. I mean, I didn't mind Wendy's as a fast food place. That was okay, that helped. Um, but a lot of the other food I do not like at all. It, it didn't go down so well. So I wasn't eating properly. So today I'm going to need to eat more so I can get those calories back in. So without those calories, I'm just going to become very ill. Now, people probably watching this are probably thinking, oh, you can probably do have losing a bit of weight. But uh, one, that's rude. No, I'm joking, I don't mind. Nothing wrong with being called fat or whatever. It's factual, isn't it, I suppose. But um, yeah, I'm going to need to uh, get that energy back. Oh yeah, good news people. I've finally got a new logo. That also means I'm finally getting some stickers printed out for you people. You see me, just ask and I'll give you one, I suppose. Easy peasy. So apparently uh, with Japanese bikes, they'll uh, go a little faster with this sticker. And with Chinese bikes, 10% uh, less chance of the screws all falling out at once. And if you've got an American bike, then uh, Apparently there's a 10% chance you'll have to pay less fees whenever your bike uh, needs repairing. So I've actually really, really missed my bike while I was away. And now that is incredibly sad. <laughs> so I chose a very nice scenic route to go with the bike. With one of uh, little potholes everywhere. <laughs> I suppose you can look at the potholes and stuff as creative ways of having uh, speed bumps. They're just creative speed bumps. They're there on purpose. They're a feature, not a con. Hey, we'll just pretend we're the Tories and uh, skip the speed bumps like they skip taxes, eh? <laughs> Bit of uh, political commentary there. I try not to make the uh, channel too political because uh, there's a lot of things going on in the world. And there's enough division as there is in people. You have like uh, the people that eat normal food, shall we say? Or what have you, conventional food, traditional food. And then you have the people that eat uh, alternative food, shall we say, plant-based and what have you. And that's one separation of division. And then you have the division of, um, well, that's a good plant thing, but you can't eat this plant thing, that's bad. And then you have the division of, like, the vegetarians and all that, and you have the level 100 vegans, and they're like, oh no, you can't drive, rubber, you can't do this, you can't do that. There's so much division in the world just from the food choices. It's crazy. And like, there's things going on all around, all around the world at the moment. And there'll be lots of commentary on it. But the uh, thing I think about that is we've got enough going on ourselves, to be fair. You don't need all the world views. And... It's like I was thinking the other day. It was quite funny, actually. I was here. Yeah, so I was in the pound shop getting a few bits and bobs. Uh, I won't say what. Uh, <laughs> I'll leave that to you to guess in the comments. And uh, I got to check out my stuff come to like uh, £2.98 or shall we say something like that I don't know I forgot the exact figure and the uh, screen said would you like to donate some money towards something else uh, some sort of world affair going on or some sort of I forgot to read it I won't lie to you and um, okay that's a bit strange but um, it's a mandatory pop-up every time before you pop your card in um, you always have to press no which makes you feel like a bad person um, but it does for me, so 
are just like, oh, someone needs help, I want to help them. I'm a helpful person, you know, and all that. Uh, jibber jabber. But uh, I was just thinking, that money that's donated to them, we've got so many children around here that cannot eat or drink that well. Um, and some parents, where they just look after their kids, let me put this down. Serious time, voice is down. Um, I've been there myself, I've needed food bank for my children and myself a few times. Um, when I had to leave my last job, I was really struggling. And um, the money you get when you leave, when you have to leave the job. Um, the reason I left is because I had to become a carer, which I'm, I'm glad I did. It's the only choice, it was the smartest choice. But yeah, sorry about my throat, I've uh, got a bit of a cold. So, uh, <laughs> someone's asked if I want to go out today, and I'm like, no, I'm sorry, uh, I'm just not feeling so good. But um, yeah, but as I say, I go off track so easily, but then uh, hopefully people like that, or don't mind that in my vlogs. I suppose that's what makes them vlogs, isn't it? If I cut them everywhere all the time, it'd uh, edit everything out. <laughs> it wouldn't be quite the same. So, there are a lot of people, like myself, what I used to do, was um, I'd make sure my kids have got food and drink. Uh, this is a real thing, by the way. This is 100% real. Because some people don't think this stuff's real, or they make up these weird things, and it gets political. But I'd get them food, and it'd be cheap food, to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. But it, was, it got us by. And I home-cooked things. Um, and even then, we were really, really struggling. We needed help from outside sources, which thankfully did help us a bit. But yeah, I'd, I'd eat pasta, literally plain pasta, every day for the longest time. And it's not nice, but it, it helped and I survived. Obviously, I'm here now. Uh, well, am I? <laughs> are, we any, are any of us here? I'm joking. Um, but yeah. I was thinking, yeah, all these countries around the world have got all these problems. Um, I won't get political, I can explain why I think they have these problems. But, um, so we can donate all this money to these people. Or, alternatively, we can do a small donation to a food bank, which will help little children and adults, parents that are struggling to keep, get by. And there are genuine reasons why these people can't afford to get by. It's not just some hooly thing like, oh, they buy a lot of weed or something strange like Money that. Money or drinks or alcohol, what have you. And these people aren't buying fancy clothes or anything. Um, when I was in that in-between part of um, getting universal, like, leaving my job and getting universal credit, I couldn't buy my children clothes for months. If not, probably about a year almost. I'm not even joking, it's... It's quite sad times, and anyone who goes through it, I sympathise with, and I don't judge them, because I've learned that even people that have worked hard all their lives, or have done this, that, and the other, or home cook things, keep things cheap to a good balance, you can still struggle, and sometimes food bank's good, but it's not quite enough there. So, what I guess I'm saying is, yeah, feel free to send whatever, well, I don't know, 10 quid, 20 quid a month to whatever cause it is that you feel with. Um, there's there's a lot of choices to pick from, and they're all valid. Um, I'm not saying they're not worth doing, they are worth doing. But, that 10 to 20 quid, it's a food bank, just say, um, four, just four people do it. That's going to feed, that's going to help feed quite a few local families that need it and they're not all blagging so uh, I've got enough on a bit of a tangent there just because of the pan shop <laughs> but yes uh, the good thing is I found a good excuse to go out for a nice long ride on this bike after not riding on it for so long so that's brilliant I didn't really say much about a trip in the end so I'll put some pictures up I suppose so I went to uh, London of course the one of the best places in the world, isn't it? Uh, hint of sarcasm there, by the way. Uh, and saw the amazing sights of London, which I've never seen before. Oh, oh I was getting a bit too cold for these gloves. Blimey. Luckily, I have these uh, mammoth looking gloves. Okay, I've definitely got to get used to these gloves with the clutch. How much of a parking space do you need, mate? Look at this brilliant parking. 
<laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. I've noticed a nice little uptake of uh, subscribers. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Like the video if you are epic. Dislike the video if you stench of urine. <laughs> Share it if you are mega awesome, I suppose. I don't know what to do with these things. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, take care. Oh, and uh, don't forget to uh, always keep it 10 toes down. You know when I'm really with a team. When I subscribe to the Moto Wolf, you know.